Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Wow. Oh, you guys are in for a nice treat today. But good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Once Upon a Castle, which is a lovely vacation home rental that you and your family can stay in the next time you come here to Orlando, Florida. Calling all princesses and all knights, this home has eight bedrooms, five bathrooms, it can sleep up to 16, and it has 10 beds. Holy cow, this place is massive. Plus, it has an outdoor heated pool and a movie theater. This place is located in Champions Gate, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from the Walt Disney World Resort and about 35 to 40, depending on traffic, away from Universal Studios Orlando. Right down the street here, you can find a clubhouse, which has a full fitness center, a big community pool, and all of that is included and you can use. I do wanna say, a big thank you to Loma Homes for having us out for a few nights. So let's not waste any more time. We have a lot to get to. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Come on. You have keyless entry, which is very nice. And then you also have valet trash. Look at this, once upon a castle. And then here's a quick look at the neighborhood. It's very nice, quiet. It is gated with security. It is such a beautiful day outside today. You have your front door, and then as soon as you walk in, you have this really neat feature. It's pretty much an iPad with your check-in, check-out instructions. If you have any type of questions, come right here. And then over this way, you have your very first bedroom. Welcome to the very first bedroom with your own ensuite bathroom. Now this room is called the servant's quarters. And already just look at the impressive theming. I mean, look at the paint. It's professionally done. Then you have this very beautiful fireplace, quote unquote, with lighting effects. I mean, look at the broom, the pots just all the little antiques that you can find. Then of course you have all of the baskets on the ceiling here. Of course you have your closet as every room does with your own dresser, hangers, a luggage stand, extra pillow, extra blanket, and the best part, your own fan because I cannot sleep without a fan. So it's nice that they provide one for you and pretty much in every single room. So that's very, very cool and very thoughtful. Also in this first bedroom, you can find a king size bed, which is very nice. There's also plenty of outlets all around the room. Let's head to the bathroom. Okay, welcome to your bathroom. Again, this does connect not only to your bedroom, but also out near the kitchen. If you have guests over, they will probably be using this bathroom. You have his and her sinks, your toilet, stand up shower, you have a little closet area here. Also, in every bathroom, you can find plenty of towels. Some bathrooms have a bath bomb in them, but every bathroom you can find makeup remover, shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and body wash, which is a very nice touch that the owners left. Coming out of the first bathroom in the first bedroom before we move on to the kitchen, the living room, and everywhere else that this home offers, right over here, is a neat little hidden gem. Welcome to your game room. Now, the owners did transform the garage into this room, so it does have an echo to it. They did put a portable air conditioning unit in here. You have another refrigerator, just in case you're here for a while. You have a little table for the kiddos. This room is themed to marine life, the little mermaid. You have this awesome pool table. I cannot wait to come out here later on and play pool with Bianca. You also have foosball. There's a little bench over here. And this is just really cool, especially for the kiddos or the teenagers. Coming back inside, down your main hallway, you can find this giant kitchen. And I must say, this is exactly how I would want my kitchen to look inside of my home. I do wish there was an island, but again, that's what I would want in my personal home. But I mean, look at this kitchen. 
It's fully stocked with everything that you may need as far as kitchen utensils, pots, pans, utensils, silverware, bowls, plates. You guys get the rest. There's also a waffle maker, a blender, you have a Keurig, you have an old school coffee machine. I don't know why I call it old school. I think just because I use either a espresso machine or a Keurig now. There's also this really cool trash can that will open and close for you automatically. You have your dishwasher, sink, toaster, oven, stove, microwave, and then you have a pretty large pantry. And again, the owners left you seasoning and salt and pepper, which again, is just really thoughtful of the owners because not every vacation home will do that. On the other side of the kitchen, look at this large countertop with bar stools. Again, if you're here with a big family or just a big party in general, you have plenty of room. And then now walking through the living room area, just very, very well themed. I like this L-shaped couch. You have a ceiling fan, a large TV. Right now we're watching Tangled, which is very fitting. Now, before we head upstairs, look at this dining room table. My goodness, <laughs> this is insane. Imagine eating just a feast at this table like Thanksgiving dinner or, I don't know, hamburgers and hot dogs from the grill. And then behind me, you have the outdoor area with your outdoor table and chairs. And of course, your very nice pool and then something else that you can find down here. Check out this little storage area beneath the stairs here. You can find a vacuum, a broom, looks like a stroller if you have kids, a pack and play, and a baby gate. Again, just very, very thoughtful. Oh, that's right. The master bedroom is downstairs. So before we go upstairs, come check out the master. Welcome to the master bedroom, which is very fitting for a prince. You also have a ensuite bathroom, which connects out to the pool. So that's very nice. What do we have here on the bed? Looks like a crown for a prince. Let me go ahead and put that on. <laughs> but you have a king size bed. I mean, it looks very, very comfortable. I'm actually going to take this crown off. It's a little uncomfortable. And then you have a closet. There's also a few full length mirrors here, which is nice when you are getting ready in the morning. A very large TV. I think it's the same size as the TV in the living room. I just love the decorations throughout. A very large dresser for your clothes. This room is actually called the Royal Room. And here we are. This is a very, very spacious bathroom. It's very nice. Again, the theming just continues throughout the entire property. You have a very nice deep tub. And then across you have a stand-up shower. I love the floor mats. Then you have his and her sinks, which is very, very nice, especially for me and Bianca because we both love our space when we are getting ready. This bathroom has a bath bomb, has everything else that you may need. And then here's your door that will connect you outside right behind me. Then you just have your toilet. I think that is it as far as downstairs, but now let's head upstairs because there is a lot to see. I'm actually more impressed with upstairs than downstairs. Come on. All right, I have made it upstairs. And again, just look at the details and the theming here with the window displays. There's a projector up here. Don't know what it does just yet. And then a little note about once upon a time. And here we are. I don't even know where to begin. There's so many rooms up here. There's so many bathrooms. We've already gotten lost a few times, but let's just start with this room behind me, this bathroom, and this <laughs> Come on. This room is called the Knight's Armory. In this bedroom, you have two twin-sized beds. Now, this is a darker room because it's the Knight's Armory. So you have their weapons, their vests, their helmets, their gloves. I like this window display in the middle of one of the knights trying to slay down one of the dragons, but looks like the dragon is calling for backup, so the knight may be in a little bit of trouble. I like how there's some toys in this room for the little ones. There's a little action figure knight castle. 
However, I am not seeing a TV in here, which that's okay, especially if it's just the little ones sleeping in here. This room does have a joining bathroom that connects with the other bedroom. It's a pretty large bathroom. I'll take you in this bathroom in just a moment because it actually connects with another bedroom on the other side of the house. But from the Knight's Armory, across the way, you have Rapunzel's room. Wow, look at this room. You have Rapunzel's tower with her hair coming from the top. You have bunk beds that equal out to be two full-size beds. There's a ton of space in this room. You have a little pile of books for the kiddos, a smaller TV. You have a closet over here with the same things in it. And then if we turn off the light, there's actually a little effect that will happen. Just a little lighting package on Rapunzel's tower. There's a little ladder back here for one of the kiddos to climb up. I do love the paint work throughout this room. Whoever painted all of the walls inside of this house, I want to hire you because you did fantastic work. Coming back out to the hallway, Rapunzel's room is right here, the Knight's Armory, and then you have a bathroom here, which all of these bedrooms will use this bathroom, but again, I will show you it once we make it on the other side of the house. Walking down the hallway just a bit, you have a magic mirror, which I will show you in just a little bit. You have so many knights protecting you up here. Welcome to the Beauty and the Beast themed room. It just makes you feel like you're in an actual library. You have a ladder here so you can get the higher books, a decent sized TV. Now, it said this is supposed to be a king bed, but it looks more like a queen. You have little displays on the desk here. You have plenty of outlets, and then up here you can find two USB ports. Closet behind you with plenty of the same things I've already shown. You have a little rose here. I mean, these books, you can actually grab and read these books if you if you want. Moving from the Beauty and the Beast room, you have another joining bathroom with the next room that I am about to show you, which is the Cinderella room. Again, you can find his and her sinks. You have Cinderella's glass slipper. You have another rose in here with the mirror that the Beast gave Belle before she left. You have a very spacious stand-up shower, toilet. We have now entered Cinderella's room and look at this beautiful, amazing bed. It's Cinderella's carriage. You have some stairs that will help you up. This is a pretty room. I also like the lighting fixture. There's a closet with the same things in there, a decent sized TV plenty of outlets. Again, just look at the paint in here. I just left Cinderella's room and I forgot there were two knights outside guarding the area and I may have freaked out just a little bit because I mean, look at them. They look pretty real. They're always protecting everybody in this home. So <laughs> be warned. But up here, don't forget, you can find the laundry area with the full size washer and dryer. Again, they left us two little pods for laundry. You also have some pool towels up here and an iron and ironing board. Here's the magic mirror that I was telling you guys about a little earlier. Let's see if he's around, shall we? Hello. What thou desires you shall receive. That is, unless you have too much greed. Ooh, okay. Moving on, here is your second living space and this would be perfect if you have teenagers in the family or just the little ones in general. A good place for them to hang out and relax. You have a coffee table, a couch, you have the King's chair right here. How do I look? Really nice big TV with an Xbox with four controllers. Looks like you have a few board games. You have two other knights looking after you. Just more great theming all throughout. I am about to enter yet again another bedroom, but the theming of this room is pretty incredible as is themed to the Snow Queen, AKA Elsa. Come on. Whew. 
It's a little cold in here. Just kidding. Look at this bed in the bed frame. Holy cow. How amazing is this? I kind of want to sleep in here. It's so cool. The bed is comfortable. The sheets, the covers. I love this bed frame. I love the overall design of this room. It's very simple, but I mean, all you really needed was this bed frame. And I mean, again, fantastic work in here. You have a nice TV, have a little light in the corner here. Again, your closet with the same stuff in there. A couple of windows. And that's about it. We have now entered the movie theater. I can't believe there's a movie theater. This is something I want in my own home one day. You have plenty of seating in here. You have some bean bags. You have some more blankets. A giant TV that has to be at least 75 inches. Just outstanding theming. I mean, look at this lighting fixture. And then the best part, well, one of the best parts. The other best part is the popcorn machine in the back. But the other part, there's these buttons and you can go around the room and they make different sounds, different animal sounds. Check it out. <laughs> there is surround sound in here. We will definitely be watching a lot of movies up here just as a family hanging out. Hopefully we can get this popcorn machine to work. I'm pretty sure it does because all of the equipment is here for us to use. Coming out of the movie theater, you have a bathroom right here. This is called the forest bathroom. It's just a simple bathroom, has one sink, your toilet, your shower with your tub. So this would actually be a good bathroom if you need to bathe your toddler. There's also another bath bomb. Okay, we have our final bedroom behind me, which is pretty insane to say because we've been through so many today. Holy cow. But this bedroom has the bathroom that will connect you to your Knight's Armory and your Rapunzel room. And here we are. This room is called Sword in the Stone. This is actually the bedroom Adri picked, which she is very excited because of the little slide that you have here. This is a full. You have a nice little mounted TV, a night light, your closet with again the same stuff in there. Then you have a little stairway here that will lead you up. I'm a little too big to be doing this, but when you pull the sword, it lights up. Check it out. Pretty awesome. And then here's your slide, which I was going to go down, but I am not going to do that because I am way too big. And this is the final bathroom. This is the night's bathroom. So you have more swords and just more great theming for the knights. His and her sinks. There's a few dragons in here. You have a nice little closet. Then you have a private bathroom with your toilet, a nice stand up shower. And then over here, is the door that will connect you to the Knight's Armory bedroom. And then this door will connect you out to the hallway right across from Rapunzel's room. I'm about to head outside, but before I do, I just wanted you guys to see there is a pull alarm, which is very nice if you have little ones. The alarm will go off if the door is left open. And then down below, you have your pool lights. And here we are outside and check out this private pool. This is very nice. It starts out at three feet, goes all the way up to five feet. It is covered, so you don't have to worry about bugs or lizards getting in, which is very nice. And then there's a baby fence here. You also have outdoor seating. And then over here, there's some floaties, water guns, pool noodles. You have four lounge chairs and then a grill that runs off propane. And then over here, that is the door that will connect you to the master bathroom. Yay, it's now dinner time. This smells and looks amazing. What do we have, babe? So we have meatloaf with mashed potatoes and brown gravy and Parmesan garlic Brussels sprouts, all homemade. <laughs> Good job, babe. Yes. Even the kiddo is enjoying the dinner as well. I know, they had like little kitty trays and cups yeah. for younger kids, so it's great. It is everything we need and then some. Dinner was fantastic, by the way. I love when Bianca makes her meatloaf. I was doing some laundry and I was heading back down the stairs. Look at this, we have some magic, some pixie dust. 
So that's what this projector does up here. How cool was that? Well, good morning. It is actually the next day now. We really didn't do too much last night. After dinner, we all hopped in the pool for a night dip, which was very nice. We ended up watching a few Marvel movies up in the movie theater. So far, we have really been enjoying this property. The beds were comfortable. We had a good night's rest. So now it's about 12, 13 in the afternoon. We had breakfast. We started watching Avengers Endgame. We're taking a pause because we're actually going to drive over to the clubhouse to check out their fitness center. And then we may run to a few stores in the area and then we'll come back and continue on with our day. Okay, here we are approaching the clubhouse. There's a lot going on in here. I know the big pool is over this way also it's open from 9 a.m to 9 o'clock p.m every day you do have to check in upon entry but check this out there's a oasis grill here you have a full service bar it's a restaurant some tvs you can also find a little arcade in here right next to the fitness center which is just right here and then you can see the pool right there here's what we were looking for the fitness center it's nice. They have just about everything that we need. Some free weights over here. We had a pretty solid workout. It was good. We got about 30 minutes in, but now I wanna take you guys around outside because they have a pretty cool water park back here. They have a lazy river, a water slide, a little splash pad for the little ones. You can rent private cabanas out here. There's also restrooms and then the main pool is right up here with a poolside bar. And then check this out. They offer mobile massages where they will come to you at the place you are staying at around the neighborhood. Oh yeah, check it out. There's the Oasis Tiki Bar, nice size pool. Looks like those private cabanas are inside. There's a hot tub right there. And then the main entrance is right back here. It also looks like they have a small gift shop. We had to make a quick stop at Publix to pick up a few things. A few hours later, myself and Bianca are going to play a round of pool. Even the baby is going to learn how to play pool. That was a pretty fast game of our first round of pool because Bianca hit the eight ball, so. All right, we have a very close game here. Wow, this is a very close game. We're pretty much even. The eight ball's still there. I have one. And then Bianca's. I can't do it. <laughs> oh yeah, I redeemed myself. I just got it. That was a really good game actually. So we have penne la vodka. So I added ground beef to the sauce. And then we have the penne noodles and Parmesan on top. It looks amazing. It smells so I'm good. starving. I am about to go live on YouTube for my Patreon members and my YouTube channel members. This is something I do every single month for you guys. Say hello to the vlog. Hello, future me. Kathleen, Tracy, Brian, Jennifer, Eric, Emily, Doc, Colby. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. Hey, vlog. <laughs> All right, I just got done with the live stream. It's going on 8.30 right now, so I think we are going to start to settle in for the night, watch maybe another movie or two, and just enjoy the rest of this house. Good morning. It is our checkout day. I'm joined with my two night friends that only scared me that one time, <laughs> but we had such a fantastic stay. We really enjoyed ourselves just having this giant house with so many bedrooms, a movie theater, a private pool, a huge kitchen. It was very, very nice. It is big, you may get lost, but that's okay, that's the fun of staying here. Also, all of us slept very well. All of the beds are very comfortable here. You know, nowadays you have so many options when you vacation here in Central Florida to visit the nearby theme parks. Of course, you can stay at Disney, you can stay at Universal, you can stay at the Holiday Inn. But now the fact that there's so many awesome vacation homes and Airbnb properties to choose from. Yes, a lot of you like to stay at Disney. I like to stay at Disney, but right now Disney is taking away so many of those great perks and benefits that we all know and love. Right now, 
this house is going for about $392 per night. Now keep in mind, prices will vary depending on what time of the year you're here. Of course, right now it's summer, so it's going to be more money. But 392, that's what, Coronado Springs at Disney, so you can stay in a you know standard hotel room at Disney, have those perks, or you can pretty much pay the same price drive 20 minutes away yeah you have to factor in a rental car drive about 20 minutes away from disney you get an eight bedroom house five bathrooms a movie theater a private pool a huge kitchen a pool table so you know i'm not going to say what you guys should do but i just wanted to throw that in thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all and YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the right. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.